Good morning. Once again, we are staying at that trailhead just north of Sault Ste. Marie. We left the cottage yesterday at around 11.30 a.m. or around 12 maybe, and uh, drove all the way up to Sault Ste. Marie and uh, had dinner and then walked around Sault Ste. Marie Harbor, which is somebody last year told us we should definitely need to go check out the uh, the waterfront, which we did. And uh, so now we've got a long day ahead of us, but we'll be staying at a campground tonight. And I can't wait to show you guys that. Morning. Morning. All right, let's get going. Stop. I'm gonna make some eggs. What a great place to stop right here. Just look at it. Look at that. Just phenomenal view. See if I can zoom in a bit. Yeah, there's a little railway down there. That beautiful lake, Lake Superior. Gorgeous. We're about two hours, two and a half hours away from Thunder Bay, and uh, we're definitely going to be visiting Persian Man once again. Let's get out the eggs, cook some food. <laughs> the bacon's making the fire alarm go off smoke detector so I couldn't open it because it's not on um, you got to turn that on I think it's on otherwise isn't it not <laughs> there we go <laughs> <laughs> good, eh? really cold water it's not, not going to be cold for long Did I turn it off? I don't, I don't think so. I put in an AC plug so we can uh, plug our electric blankets in at nighttime if it's cold. Uh, we could also plug in the induction stove if we're hooked up to um, like a campsite. We could also use the batteries that are uh, stuffed down up under there. But at least we have AC power for those kinds of things. And the kettle. Oh, and the kettle for my coffee in the morning. And my tea. And tea. So we have lighting. Uh, as you guys know, we've got our lighting for nighttime stuff. And right now we're sitting at about 40 percent power left and uh, if I turn this off it'll go back up big time yummy eggs with a view Yes, please. What a great spot to have a picnic. Definitely. No PB and J sandwiches for us, man. Mm -hmm. Bacon, Bacon and eggs. And eggs. <laughs> Nothing wrong with PB and J. No nope. PB and J. Definitely not. I don't have any bread. That's all I need is the train zipping by right now would be kind of cool. To the train. I'm done. It's blueberry time. Who likes blueberries? I do. Sure do. Next stop, Persian man.
mushrooms. Maybe we will be able to access 12 from this side. Oh, yeah, it's a pull through, he said. 12E. Just turned the van around so that our door is pointing towards the picnic table, and that's our cable to be plugged in, which I'll have to put underneath the vehicle and come on the other side. I think we have enough to reach that far. I guess we'll check. So we'll be plugging her into there. I don't think it's going to reach. We bought a surge protector, and that'll save us from any surges. So this is just a regular. This is regular plug. Mm. Okay, this it protects says. it from rain. Green on. Okay, ready? We're gonna have to move the van around. I think, so. I think if we put the side of the van right here, then we'll be able to reach. I'm just saying, we have to put the van probably right the side of the van right here. We might be able to come through the bushes too. We're gonna go through this most direct route possible. If I bring it right to there. So just turn it around, put the butt end of the vehicle there. Big rock right there. Carol will be able to reach. Black flies are out. Ooh. Helps it from being on tight. Yanked on. So there you go, guys. This is the first one I bought, and it's a 50 footer. And then uh, as we were reading more and more about other vanners, they're like, you know, it's kind of good to have an extra cable have like a 50 foot either two 50 footers a 50 foot and a 25 so i have the 25 50 and in this situation this is where that comes in handy because if i only had the 50 footer we'd have to like keep looking at camp spots and try to find the best one and this is the best one so we're getting uh 1.55 kilowatts up to 100 percent by tomorrow hopefully yeah. So I think I did notice that the bug spray was in this one of these pockets. Yeah. You got it. Gonna... You're you Deep wood. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got my beverage of choice. Got this out. We're gonna boil water for dishes here. And then I bought a bunch of dehydrated foods that we really wanted to try. For my Christmas party. <laughs> Stocking stuffers. And we are going to do Hungarian goulash. There's two of them. Uh, Thai cocoa soup. And then pad thai, which I think is going to be the best thing. I'm kind of hoping that the goulash is amazing. People like to use these for doing backcountry stuff. 
So we're going to read the instructions. And uh, again, you just use the kettle to boil water and then we'll pour them in here. Of course, if we're going out into the, the backwoods, we'd have to like purify our water, boil it over a campfire. That's not water, emergency use only. Flamethrower, Jack and Jill went up the hill to get a pail of water. Jack brought his own thing. We could use this for rinsing, that'll be for washing. Another tip too, uh, if you're going to eat these in a, in a like doing the backcountry kind of thing, pour your water in, wait for the amount of time that it takes to get it done, and then cut it in half, and then it becomes a bowl, and then you don't need to wash bowls afterwards. Good tip. All right, so uh, we have to open this and remove the oxygen absorber. Add a uh, half a cup of boiling water, yeah. stir well, let stand for eight to 12 minutes. Oh, you had it boil? Okay. A bunch of people just came by and were talking to us about the van, which is awesome. We don't mind talking about the van. And then we will put that in there. Carol and I are gonna share this and see if we like it. Um, Cause we wanna sample all of them, right? Sample all of it. goes up here. <laughs> okay. Okay. So there's get the, the oxygen little pack oxygen out. pack. Always get that out first, man. Yeah. We don't want to eat that. Okay. Put Ooh, it, I'd put it down. At, look at that. And to stabilize it. Looks Ooh. Good. Goulash. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so I would say just keep your hand on it when you pour the water in. Okay. Let me just do this. There we go. Just dump it. Yeah, well, I didn't want it to go over the edge. Okay. Did you have to so stir it? So just stir it really well and then let it sit. Okay. Stir, stir. it first. Hope there was only one oxygen pack. <laughs> yeah, right. Just make sure you get all those spices and you know, just like that clump. Yeah. Next up is our pad tie and it says 500 mil. And this is about a 240 or a one cup. So we are going to put two of those in. So after careful examination, there's no uh, oxygen package. So I guess some companies do and some companies don't. So we're just gonna- Well, some recipes don't need it. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so- All right, so two of those boiling cups. One. Oh, listen to it. Oh, you can see it bubbling out of the bottom there. Oh, that smells good. I think I'm gonna like that one. There we go. There. So I'm, I'm it, thinking, just yeah, probably you want to stir just to break up those little, um, like powder. You know, it gets all gummed up when yeah. if you just add water and don't stir it. Chances are if you just close it and shake it. Well, that's I what I was thinking. That's scary too, though. It could pop, so be careful because of the heat. True. Yeah. Worried. Good. Okay, so let's let that rest. And last but not least, let's read the instructions. It's the same company, so and this is uh, Happy Yak. And this is the Thai Cocoa Soup. Boiling water. Yeah, well, if we had a proper measuring cup, these are dry measure cups. Mm. I we don't have enough space for a real measure cup. Well, I guess not. This is perfect. They're stackable. Oh, this Mix is well. Be nice as well. We'll see you guys in 15 minutes. While we're waiting for these to cook up, Carol buttered two croissants, and uh, we're going to grill them up to add to our dinner festive party. <laughs> Carol started already. <laughs> Can I have a piece 
Oh, I look so good. Look at how golden brown that is. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Look, Carol's that part's already gone. Should I eat that one? This is the other half of yours. It's fine. I'm just going to eat this. There you go. Ah. Great idea to fry it like that. Okay, so some of these things take longer than others. This is the least amount of time, which is 8 to 12, and we're almost at that time. We have like 33 seconds left for the whole... All right, this might go off. Let's go for this Hungarian goulash. Another recommendation I think would be once you've done what we've done, like put some towels around it or whatever so it doesn't cool off because it feels like it's cooled off a bit. I'm going to dump it all into yours and then we can divide it from there. And again, that's the Hungarian goulash. Let's just stir this around a bit. Carol's got some spoons for us. So you divide it up. Let's scoop I'm not it out. Sure if it's ready yet. It's been it's been the long like we made that first and it's the sh apparently the shortest time. You think that it needs to? Uh, well, whatever that was was not hydrated yet. Unhydrated, yeah, hydrated, right? Not yet. All right, let's try it. Hmm. It's not ready yet. Good taste though. The flavors of it is amazing. Yeah. Like Carol said, it's like it probably needs another 15 minutes maybe well, with the and, boiling water. And plus two, like I said, the measuring cup was not 100% accurate because it's not a what, liquid. liquid measure. But I don't, I'm not sure if that would matter. Like it should have absorbed. It should have. And maybe it wasn't hot enough. Because mm. we set for a minute, right? But that was the first one that we did. I All right. Know. My guess would be the flavor. Best. This one next is awesome. Yes, flavor's good. If it was like freshly made with that flavor, dynamite. Yeah. Right now, it's like eating a bunch of chunks of cardboard. Mm -hmm. Would that be fair? Mm -hmm. So a bunch we'll, of cardboard chunks. We'll warm that back up though. Yeah. We'll put it in a pot. All right. Oh boy. I hope we're not messing this up too. That would suck if every one of them was like undercooked. Well, stick your fork in and see. Okay. You do it. Okay. This is. I think this is your fork. I think. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with this. I bought hot dogs at the grocery store today just in case. Mm -hmm. As a backup. Yeah. A little bit more. Really? A little bit more liquid. Drop the kettle. We got the boiling water happening. I'm gonna pour about another 50 mil. Okay, so we're gonna leave the pad thai for a minute. And again, lie it down is probably the best strategy. Uh, the next thing up is the soup, the Thai cocoa soup. You can just smell that coconut. Last piece of my croissant. Mmm. Turn this down. So far the best part of the meal right there. Yep. So we put the goulash into a pot. With some soup. With some water. With I mean. some more extra water. Let's lift the top off. Ta-da! So yeah, the Thai cocoa soup. I keep thinking it's pad thai. The other bag is pad thai. Mm -hmm. mm, it mm. smells good. I've had better. It's almost like you need to let it sit for like at least a half an hour. Boiling water in heat. It still tastes like it's not 100% hydrated, even though we're way over. We've added extra water. Again, it's funny. The flavors are perfect. Mm -hmm. But then you eat the noodles and they're a little on the stiff side. Maybe somebody who has experience with these dehydrated meals can give us some pointers. Please. This is our first time. The flavors of both of these so far mm, have been amazing. Really good. But the fact that you're getting, again, if you're starving, this is probably the best meal you ever had. <laughs> if you're out in the middle of the world, wilderness and you're like just been hiking for 15 hours. Yep, for sure. You would love that coconut and just 
corn. Corn and red peppers. Other, other things in there. Mm -hmm. Carrots. The noodles should be a little bit softer, but they should hey, be. It's all right. Not. Carol made a nice little arrangement of fresh veggies. And these are snap peas, I believe. Mm -hmm. And you got some hummus. hummus. I really like the soup. It's definitely a buy again. Wow. Yep. Carol. Oh, gone. Yeah, if you just get by the, the texture part of it. Yep. If it's not cooked properly. Yeah. But again, we we we, do, we follow the instructions to a T. Another quick test. Not ready. Yet. Still not ready. Mm -hmm. I don't, I wish we had put a special timer on. Mm -hmm. For each one. Seal it Sealing up. it up. Lying it. I've, I've shaken it multiple times. And we'll put the towels over top of it. And we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> well, it's been about 40 minutes now, possibly longer. This has been definitely been boiling on there. We're at a high temperature for a while. Is it still egg? The, the carrot is, is much better, but the other things, possibly an onion, they're very soft now. So. Well, they're soft now. Okay. Yeah. I was waiting for you to say, nope. Yeah, so. Still no good. But it's. Look, but we've added a lot more water. I, I think the the thing to take from this is if, if you are coming back from a hike and you are really hungry, start this before you do anything and make sure you have the, more than what they say in water. And uh, try let it, it at home first. And try it at home first. <laughs> like, or just look at our videos. And, and this is uh, evidence as to... Uh, how long it takes to for these things to hydrate again. Man, yeah. So now it's crazy hot. Yeah. So again, please, if you guys have done this before, leave comments in the comment section below and I'll try to remember to pin your comment if you have any really good advice on the best way to prepare these because we followed the instructions as best we could and it just didn't seem to, to help at all. And be kind. Mm -hmm. We're newbies at this. We're new. First time trying it. Again, it tastes, I think, the same. Mm. It's just very crunchy. Very solid. So we've eaten our croissants. All of our veggies are almost gone. All of our hummus is almost gone. We're still hungry. We're hoping that the pad thai has some good news to tell us. I like just... the taste of this though. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Good. All right guys, before we lose all of our light and we're hoping that this pad thai is perfect, I'm just gonna dump it all into Carol's and we'll split it up. Again, you, sh you probably should eat this whole thing. It's about 380 calories, I believe we've calculated. Um, no, this is about 930 calories. Yeah, this one is, I think, yeah. meant for two. Yeah. Two. Let's stir this up a little bit. Because all the good peanut, peanut stuff is at the bottom. There. Here we go, guys. Pad Thai dehydrated, rehydrated. Dinner for two. <laughs> I'm hoping so bad that this tastes great. Ugh. Rehydrated dinners. There you go. Mm. It's not terrible. No. Definitely oh. glad we let it sit for a little bit longer. Yeah. Once again, the flavors of this. I think this is my favorite out of the three. Yeah. For flavors and stuff. But again, it feels like you've undercooked the noodles by yeah. a lot. But as you can tell, as the sun is gone and we've lost all of our light, it's been in there for a really long time. And uh, maybe maybe in the future we'll try to do it on a stove and not do it in the bag. But I, I really wanted to do some experimentation with this as if we were um, going out into the back country. Well, guys, we are going to pulse these off, and we'll be right back. Hang on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are all done. I finished off my bowl. 
Carolyn didn't want to eat anymore. Uh, I started trying to eat hers, and there were definitely a few pieces in here that were still uncooked. So we don't know what the hell is going on. Uh, I'm guessing next time, if we were to try this again with different recipes, uh, these are the ones I thought would be the best ones. Uh, I think we'll try it in a pot. Yeah. And that way we can... Um, kind of monitor it and make sure that it's being cooked properly and keep adding more water add more water if you needed it mm -hmm. um out of the three though i think the pad thai was my favorite flavored one uh but they were all good mm -hmm. i think you said this one was your I, favorite i like this one the best yeah yeah and the goulash was definitely good but again the, the fact that it tasted like we kept eating uncooked things that not rehydrated things kind of put us off on pretty much all three of these things uh we'll, we'll try it again maybe in the near future and or maybe midsummer. i'll buy a few we do have, we some, do more. have some more at home. i bought a whole bunch of these for carol for christmas <laughs> uh put in her stocking and uh just so we could try some stuff and hoping that you know if we ever did a backcountry kind of thing yeah but, this but is the best way to bring stuff but these are easy quick meals you know when you just arrive late at the campground and you just wanted something quick and it turned out to be a little bit more work than what we anticipated i wouldn't say a lot more work a lot more time time waiting sure. and waiting and waiting and checking but, yes and mm -hmm. luckily carol had some croissants and some veggies and some hummus to settle us until we got some of this food in mm. anyway guys thank you very much for hanging out with carol and ken uh today it was a lot of fun and uh Again, let us know what you want to see in the future. <laughs> if you want, you want to see more of these, maybe MREs, that would be kind of fun. Mm -hmm. the Carol's, I don't think I've ever touched an MRE. I've tried it once, but. I think I've had the crackers with. Oh, like the peanut jam butter and jam, yeah. yeah. That's nothing like what some of the food is like. Right, no, I've never done it. But if you have access to MREs or you know somebody who has MREs and you guys want to send it to them, send it to us. Let us know in the comments below and we'll get back to you. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Have Bye. a good night. Bye. Thank you.